In this problem, we're told two skaters collide and grab onto each other on frictionless ice. One of them, of mass 70 kilograms, is moving to the right at 4 meters per second, while the other, of mass 65 kilograms, is moving to the left 2.5 meters per second. What are the magnitude and direction of the velocity of these skaters just after they collide? So let's go ahead and draw what's going on here. So what we want to do is draw what's going on before the collision and then after the collision. So what's going on before? So two skaters, uh, they're going to be skating towards each other, right? So let's say this is one skater. Let's say this is the other skater. So we know in the beginning, right? So one is going to have a mass of 70 kilograms. Let's just write that under them. So 70 kilograms. And then this one's going to be moving to the right at four meters per second. And then this one is going to be 65 kilograms. And it's going to be moving to the left at 2.5 meters per second. So this one's going to be going this way. This one's going to be going this way. So what's going to happen is they're going to collide. So uh, let's draw them after. So after, they're going to be together, right? So imagine they're one unit. They're just one person, essentially. So they're going to be together, um, and they're going to be moving in some direction, right? We don't know what their velocity is or the direction they're going. So they're just going to have some velocity, and they're going to be traveling some direction. We don't know if it's either left or right yet. That's what we're going to be solving for. But what we do know is their mass. What is their mass when they combine? Well, if their mass apart is 70 and 65, we can add it up to get their mass uh, when they're together, right? So just add these up, 70 plus 65, it's going to be 135. So their mass now is going to be 135 kilograms. So what we want to do is actually label these variables. So I'm going to say this is M1. This is going to be M2. So this person's 2, this person's 1. So this would be V1. This would be V2. And then this, pers and then this is just going to be... Uh, m1 plus m2, right? Because that's just what it is. And then we can call this v final, right? Because it's their final velocity. So how do we solve this problem? So this collision is what we call a perfectly inelastic collision, okay? And what does that mean? So essentially what that means is you're going to have two things, they're going to collide, and then they're going to become one unit. That's what essentially a perfectly inelastic collision is. And in order to solve problems like these, there's a formula. And the formula to solve them are, is essentially m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is equal to v final times m1 plus m2. Right, this is using the law of conservation of momentum, meaning the momentum in the beginning has to equal the momentum after, right? So momentum before, momentum after, right? Because think about it, m1, v1, we know momentum is p equals mv. So this essentially is just the momentum of the first person plus the momentum of the second person. And if you add them up, it's the momentum in the beginning is equal to the momentum at the end, right? Because they're just one unit. So we just add up their masses and then multiply by the velocity. So what you should notice is we have every variable except for v final. And that's what we're trying to find. So let's just go ahead and solve, right? So M1, we know is the mass of the first person, which is 70 kilograms, times V1, which is 4 meters per second, plus M2, which is going to be uh, 65, multiplied by V2. So when I say 2.5, what we're going to say is to the right is positive, to the left is negative. So this to the right is 4 meters per second. It's positive because it's going to the right, but this one's going to the left, so we have to label it negative. So V2 is really minus 2.5 meters per second. So it's going to be equal to V final times M1 plus M2, which we know is 135. So what we want to do is solve for V final, just divide. So now we just have it like this. And what you can do is just plug in your calculator. So 7 times 4, or 70 times 4, sorry. You want to add that to 65 times minus 2.5. And then you want to divide that number by 135. Right? So now you've gone ahead and do this. You're going to get that V final is equal to 0 0.87037 and so on. So I'm just going to say 0.87 meters per second. And then keep in mind, since it's positive, what does that mean? When we said positive to the right, left was negative. So it's just 0.875 meters per second. And then it's going to be to the right, right? That's the direction. So this is going to be your answer. So 0.87 meters per second. Uh, to the right is going to be where they go after. So they're going to go this way at this speed. But yeah, so this right here is your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.